So what we're going to do here is take a look at this sample form that I just put on a sample site I haven't started working on yet. But this is the new WP forms, and I want to show you this conditional logic because it's so powerful. I don't think that most people use conditional logic as much as they could to make forms much more approachable. And so here's an example. Now, this is stuff you can do on all of the existing uh, WordPress form solutions. So it's not that you can't do it with anything else, but the fact that something so new, so simple, uh, and at its price point can also do this is kind of impressive. So let's take a look at it. This is a sample form, first name, last name, email, phone number. And then it asks a question, what would you like to do? Do you want to get started on a new project or do you want to give additional information, right? Notice that it's just, I mean, other than information that I know I'm expected to put in here, it's one question. Now, if I say get started on a new project, right, you'll see that I get additional questions. Well, what's your budget, which is a required field, and who's funding this project, and when are you hoping to have this project completed by, which is a date, and you can see that there's a calendar plugin component to it, right? Let's let's say we want it for the end of the month. And so we would, you know, fill in this and fill in that and we go, okay, we're ready to go. But what if you came back and said, no, actually, I want to give you additional information on an existing project. Now you notice two other questions with default answers. Has your budget changed? Yes or no. And has your timeline changed? Yes or no. And in this scenario, the moment I say, oh, well, actually, my budget has changed, I get that question again, and then I can adjust the value, right? Well, now that we talked, I have more. Or I can hide that and say, my timeline has changed, and come back in, and of course, people want it sooner, right? But this kind of dynam dynamic conditional logic, and in this particular case, what we're really saying, in case you didn't catch it, right, is we're saying, only show this question if the first option is selected, Except we have to add a second group that says, oh, if they answer it with the second option, but the next question, budget changed, which also was dynamic and being presented conditionally based on the fact that a second option was picked. If they pick the second option of the main question and then they answer yes, the first option on a secondary question, show it again. That's two different conditional, lo conditional logic groups driven off to show you a single question. Two different ways to get there, right? And yet, the benefit is a very approachable question, a very approachable form that starts as simple as just asking you, hey, what do you want to get started with? What do you want to do? And from there, everything else flows. That's possible with the new WP forms.